introduction shamila in our last discussion we studied characteristics of platyhelminthes asclementhes annelida arthropoda mollusca and echinodermata yes now we are going to discuss characteristics of hemichordates chordates vertebrates cyclostoma chondrich thighs ostrich thighs amphibians reptilia aves and mammalia objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to understand various characteristics of hemichordates chordates vertebrates cyclostomata chondrichthyes ostichites amphibians reptilia aves and mammalia hemichordata hemichordata consist of a small group of worm like marine animals with organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis a collar and a long trunk their circulatory system is of open type they respire through gills their excretory organ is proboscis gland sexes are separate fertilization is external development is indirect in them examples balanoglossus and sacoglossus chordates animals belonging to phylum chordata are characterized by the presence of notochord a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate with organ system level of organization they possess a post anal tail and are closed circulatory system phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla urochordata cephalochordata vertebrata in subphyla urochordata notochord is present only in larval tail example acedia salpa doliolum in cephalochordata it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life example branchiostoma amphiosus and lancelet vertebrate the members of vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period the notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult thus all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two three or four chambers kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs examples fish amphibians reptiles birds and mammals cyclostomata all living members of the class cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes they have an elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws their body is devoid of scales and paired fins cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous circulation is of closed type cyclostomes are marine but migrate for spawning to fresh water after spawning within a few days they die their larvae after metamorphosis return to the ocean example petromyzon lamprey and mygene hackfish chondrichthyes chondrichthyes are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton they are cold blooded animals that is they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature notochord is persistent throughout life mouth is located ventrally 
teeth are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed their jaws are very powerful these animals are predaceous gill slits are separate and without operculum or gill cover their skin is tough containing minute placoid scales due to the absence of air bladder they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking heart is two chambered one auricle and one ventricle some of them have electric organs torpedo and some possess poison sting trigon sexes are separate in males pelvic fins bear claspers they have internal fertilization and many of them are viviparous example scoliodon dogfish pristis sawfish carcharodon great white shark trigon stingray osteichthyes osteichthyes includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton streamlined body mouth is mostly terminal they are cold blooded animals they have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side skin is covered with cycloid stenoid scales air bladder is present which regulates buoyancy heart is two chambered one auricle and one ventricle fertilization is usually external sexes are separate they are mostly oviparous and development is direct examples marine exocetus flying fish hippocampus sea horse freshwater labio rohu catla clarias magur aquarium beta fighting fish terophyllum angel fish amphibians amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats most of them have two pairs of limbs body is divisible into head and trunk tail may be present in some the amphibian skin is moist and is without scales these are poikilothermous that is cold blooded animals the eyes have eyelids a tympanum represents the ear alimentary canal urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior young amphibians breathe through gills like fish adult amphibians breathe air from lungs and skin the heart is three chambered two auricles and one ventricle sexes are separate fertilization is external they are oviparous and development is direct or indirect examples buffo toad rana frog hyla tree frog salamandra salamander ichthyophis limbless amphibia reptilia reptiles refer to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion reptiles can move at various speeds they live in hot dry deserts and in warm wet tropical rainforest they are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin epidermal scales or scutes reptiles are poikilothermous or cold blooded animals snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast reptiles do not have external ear openings tympanum represents ear limbs when present are two pairs heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in crocodiles sexes are separate fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct examples shellon turtle testudo tortoise chameleon tree lizard callotis garden lizard crocodilus crocodile alligator alligator hemidactylus wall lizard poisonous snakes naja cobra bangarus crete vipera viper 
Aves. There are about 9,000 types of birds. Birds are vertebrates that have wings and they are covered with feathers. They are homeothermous or warm-blooded. The bird's skeleton is very light in weight. This helps them to fly except flightless birds. Example, ostrich. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin. Epidermal scales or skirts. Skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified, that is bony, and the long bones are hollow with air cavities, pneumatic. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming or clasping the tree branches. The digestive tract of birds has additional chambers, the crop and gizzard. Heart is completely four-chambered. Respiration is by lungs. Air sacs connected to the lungs supplement respiration. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Birds lay hard-shelled eggs that hatch in their nest. Examples Corvus Crow Columba Pigeon Cytacula Parrot Truthio Ostrich Pavo Peacock Aptinodites Penguin Neophron Vulture Mammalia They have milk-producing mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished. They are homeothermous, that is, they are warm-blooded. They have two pairs of limbs, adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, flying or swimming. The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. The hair keep the animals warm. Humans are mammals, but animals have more hair than we do. External ears or pinnae are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is four-chambered. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are VV Paris with few exceptions and development is direct. Examples VV Paris, Macropus, Kangaroo, Teropus, Flying Fox, Camelus, Camel, Macaca, Monkey, Ratus, Rat, Canis, Dog, Felis, Cat, Elephus, Elephant, Equus, Horse, Delphinus, Common Dolphin, Belenoptera, Blue Whale, Panthera Tigris, Tiger, Panthera Leo, Lion. Did you know? Branch of biology dealing with the study of birds is Ornithology. Ostrich, Penguin, Emo and Kiwi are flightless birds. Largest bird is Ostrich, which also have largest egg. Poikilotherms are also known as Ectotherms. Animals having a built-in thermostat to maintain constant body temperature are called homothermic. Fish, which eradicates mosquito lava, is Gambusia. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The hemichordates are a small group of worm-like marine animals. They have cylindrical body with proboscis, collar and trunk. Phylum Chordata includes animals which possess a notochord either throughout or during early embryonic life. The chordates are the dorsal hollow nerve cord and have paired pharyngeal gill slits, post anal tail. Vertebrates have dorsal tubular nerve cord, skull, ventrally situated heart and body cavity with elementary canal. Some of the vertebrates do not possess jaw. Agenetha, whereas most of them possess jaw, gnathostomata, classes amphibia, reptilia, aves and mammalia have two pairs of limbs and are thus grouped under tetrapoda. The amphibians have adapted to live both on land and water. Amphibians' heart is three-chambered, mesonephric kidney, exoskeleton is absent, 
largest RBCs are seen in them. Skin is moist and has thick scales. Reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry and cornified skin. Limbs are absent in snakes. Fishes, amphibians and reptiles are poikilothermous, that is cold-blooded. Reptiles are cold-blooded, which means they have no regulatory system of body temperature. Aves are warm-blooded animals with feathers on their bodies and four limbs modified into wings for flying. Four-chambered heart is found in birds. The unique features of mammals are the presence of seven cervical vertebrae, diaphragm, mammary glands and hairs on the skin. Heart is four-chambered. Mammary glands are modified sweat glands. Pinna or external ear is found in mammals.